This is the Easy Pro dovetail jig. Uh, using it, you can make dovetail joints halfway or all the way through. Um, and all you need is your router, safety equipment, and some clamps. Or you could also use it on your router table. So we're going to be making dovetail joints today. Right out of the box, you'll have your fully assembled jig, an instruction booklet, and an accessories case, which has your four thumb screws used to clamp the wood, your dovetail cutter with bearings, four clamp pads, and uh, the offset tool. The only assembly required on the jig is to install the four clamping thumb screws. After it's screwed in, push on the uh, clamp pad. Router bit end bushings get inserted into your router and clamped in securely. It's always a good idea to have the router unplugged while you do this. The jig has a depth adjustment plate. This can be used to set the height of your dovetail bit in your router. So we're going to set the, the depth plate to one half inch, which is the height of our cutting bit. We first loosen the two screws that clamp down the adjusting plate, and we slide down the top edge um, and align it with the half inch markings on both sides. And then we tighten the plate. So now we're using the depth plate to adjust the height of the router bit. So you adjust the, your, the height of your router bit so that it just touches the, the top of the depth plate. So now we'll be cutting the tails portion of the joint. We install the board so that it's centered. Uh, we'll center the board in this portion of the jig so that the tails pattern will be centered on the finished piece. And we'll clamp it down. If your, if your wood is thinner than the spacing of these two, you can either readjust the thumb screw to the center position or take a clamp from the other side and use three. So it fits over the edge of your workbench and uh, you'll either clamp the wood to your bench or clamp the jig. So we're now going to cut the tails portion of the joint, starting from the left and moving to the right, because you get a cleaner cut now. Alright. Since the two outside tails are incomplete, you can cut them off and use the remaining three, or you could leave them intact and complete the joint as is. So we'll now unclamp it from the table and remove it from remove the wood from the jig. So for cutting a piece of wood that's wider than the jig, we'll have to make the cuts in two steps. To align the wood, we'll first need to mark center so we can ensure that our pattern will be centered on the board. We'll now align the center mark with one of the pattern fingers, which will ensure that there's a tail centered on the board.
and clamp it into the chain. Alright, so now I'm gonna just. We'll now have to shift the board over to finish the remainder of the cut. So we unclamp our wood from our jig and we shift it over. Now using the aligning tool, we'll insert it into one of the slots and align our workpiece. And this ensures that our cuts are aligned with our jig, so that when we continue cutting, the pattern lines up. Now that the board's fully cut, we can unclamp it from the jig. And we've successfully cut a board that's wider than the dovetail jig. Right. So we're now going to cut the pins portion of the joint. So we'll take our second board and clamp it loosely um, to, on the left side of the jig. And we're going to set the depth gauge the thickness of the tails portion of the joint. It's always wise to set it a little deeper so that when the joint is finished you can sand it flush. And again we align both sides to ensure that the plate is parallel. And we tighten it into position. Now to ensure that the tops of both boards are aligned we insert the tails into the teeth on the bottom of the depth plate. And we align both edges so that they're flush. Now after we cut the pins, the wood will be perfectly aligned. So when cutting this portion of the joint, the router will be touching the surface of the depth plate. So it's easiest to clamp the workpiece to your table in this orientation. Yeah, you can also mount it on the table in this orientation, which would allow you um, to cut the wood upright. Now we'll be cutting the pins portion of the joint. And now we unclamp it from the table and loosen the jig. And we test the fit of our joint. If the fit of the joint is a little tight for your liking, you can adjust the depth of your cutting bit. So on the depth plate, when setting the cutter depth, um, you can make the cutter bit deeper, um, which will make a tighter joint. Or you can set it um, higher up in the wood, which would make a looser joint. You can also use this jig on a router table um, using the exact same setup we showed earlier.
So you'll want to align the tails up with the teeth on the depth adjustment plate with the rounded edges facing inward. Then you'll adjust the pins board so the two edges that you want aligned are flush with each other. And then clamp in the tails portion of the joint to your jig. For the second cut, we'll again be using the face of the depth adjustment blade touching the router table.